slap it. Thank you. Hi, and Hi. we are here tonight with Nicole Duchesne, who is an author and a researcher and a devotee of paranormal. The true stuff. The true stuff. The true stuff. Yes. So what you got you started, Nicole, with uh, the paranormal readings. Um, I grew up in a house that was haunted. I grew up in Ionia, Michigan. I uh, knew immediately something was wrong with the house, even when we moved in. There were, How old were you? I was seven, and I was absolutely terrified. I was scared of the dark from that moment on, uh, because I would have things move in my room. And so until the age of 16, when we moved out, I slept with the lights on, because I didn't, I could just imagine what was going on in my room when the lights were off. So did you decide you wanted to research, you wanted to find out what was causing all these things? Later on in life, I did. My validation, uh, because I grew up thinking I was crazy. Oh, sure. And when I was in my 20s, my father finally told us uh, what was happening in the house and where it came from. It was a former homeowner who committed suicide on the property. And that was a huge validation to me. One, that I wasn't going insane. And two, there really is something to the paranormal and to ghosts. And that's what started driving me into research about the paranormal. Now, were you doing this research when people would come to you and say, we need help or something's going on here? Did you reach out to them or did they reach out to you? Not at first. Uh, first, it started out really, really small. Myself and my best friend just going to cemeteries. Uh, so it started out really small. Uh, but then we were featured on Fox 17 uh, okay. for what we do, and everything just exploded from that point. Oh, and then God. people started emailing me and asking, can you please come in and let me know, am I going crazy? Or is this stuff really happening in my house? So when did you decide to actually write the book? You're the author, co-author, mm -hmm. with uh, Haunted History of Kalamazoo. Correct. Now, your first two books... That were written quite a while later. Uh, the first two or earlier, right? right? The first two books. Uh, the very first book was Paranormal Lansing, and that was actually uh, the publisher's idea. I had been to Lansing like one time for a field trip, like maybe in fourth grade to the capital, and oh, that was it. I knew nothing about Lansing, but the publisher thought that would be a good start off point. Was then, a capital. So and then, what was the then? What was the second book? Second one was Michigan's Haunted Nightlife. This was uh, Rob's actually Rob's idea with this one is Ro Robert Duchesne is my husband. Yes, um, and it was actually his idea. He he wanted to come up with a book that when you think of nightlife, you know, uh, bars, theaters, um, auditoriums, stuff like that, and everything is public. That's one great thing about this book. Every single location in this book is completely public that anybody can go and visit. So it's not a book of ghost stories where you'll never be able to be in the house or the building. Oh, sure. This one was basically written with the reader in mind that they can go and visit it whenever they would like. And, and then you moved on and you did Grand Rapids. We did uh, actually Haunted History of Kalamazoo was, was the next one. Okay. That one was Rob's big love because he grew up here in Kalamazoo. So he knew a lot of the stories that he had heard throughout his entire life of growing up here. Oh. And um, so finally he jumped on board. That was supposed to be the first book until the publisher, you know, said, hey, why don't we do Lansing yes. first? Uh, so we finally got to do the book that we wanted to begin with. And then the book after that was Ghosts of Grand Rapids because I've always had a love of Grand Rapids. I grew up in there's Ionia. A lot of haunted yeah. Stuff oh, going there's on in tons Grand of haunted stuff in Grand Rapids. Um, so Grand Rapids was my idea, and um, and things just grew from there. Yes, yes. A lot of history. Now you also did a, a book sort of not too long ago mm -hmm. that was a little bit off the subject. Yep. But it, you'd call it a true crime rather than a Absolutely. Crime. That's always been my second love is true crime books. Okay. Um, I, I've always loved the detective shows when I was growing up. Um, yes. I look back now and went, wow, I went completely the wrong way when I was a kid. <laughs> I should have went into forensics because I love that so much. Um, 
So this sec this book came out, and this is called. This is called One Silent Voice. Why don't you hold that one? Yes, so absolutely. This okay, is so One Silent Voice. It's about Jeannie Singleton here in Kalamazoo. Okay. We're going to get back to that yes. in a second. But hold up uh, Haunted Kalamazoo, too. Absolutely. Okay. So, and I understand you have a new one that is coming around. The sequel, well, we have Twisted Kalamazoo, um, which is little uh, unknown facts about, like, uh, some of the murders. Uh, some of the prostitutions that uh, happen here, so prohibition. It's gonna be, yes, it's going to be more of the true crime rather than necessarily exactly. The and then after that is the sequel to this, because oh. we have we also do the haunted history of Kalamazoo ghost tours that are downtown, and every tour we keep getting people that say, "Have you ever been here? Have you ever heard of this place?" So we have so much more research to do. And we have a huge list of other haunted locations that never made it into this book. So you research all of these hauntings. Absolutely. Uh, we spent research. hours in local history rooms, county clerk's offices to, uh, to get, yes, either to substantiate or debunk. There's a couple of ghost legends we've actually debunked. And I will put that in a book if, if I find out that a legend is completely untrue. Um, that doesn't take away from the haunting, of course, you know, because if the haunting exists, we will talk about that too. You know, despite what we found, this area is still very, very haunted. And here's maybe why, even oh, though it's good. not the legend, but maybe this is the reason why. Um, well, listen, I appreciate all this information. I'm sure that our uh, watchers will uh, be interested in this too. And thank okay. you very much for joining You're us. You're welcome. Thank you.